Hello, I'm Kim Crawford, Principal of Listowel District Secondary School. We would like to welcome our graduates and their families and friends, teachers, and any guests and award donors who are joining us for this virtual commencement ceremony. Any other year, I would be standing on the stage and not sitting behind my desk. And you would be sitting in a hot, crowded gymnasium. But this is 2020, and we have changed, adapted, and adjusted so much of what we are accustomed to doing, but nothing, not even 2020, can change the significance of your accomplishment. You are graduates. We acknowledge not just the completion of high school, but your journey and the experience you carry forward into your future. The journey and experiences are unique for each of you, but collectively, your experience is unique from any other LDSS class that has graduated before you. Now, it is customary for the principal to offer some departing words of wisdom. And it feels like I can't just ignore that there's a pandemic. While I do implore you to do all the right things to stay safe, like wear a mask, keep your distance, keep your hands clean, sanitize, this is all advice for a pandemic. It's not necessarily wisdom for a graduating class. Let me give you an example. As a life lesson, you have never heard anyone say, keep your distance and life will be fulfilling. Yes, right now you physically distance from other people so that COVID doesn't continue to spread, but please continue getting closer to people in terms of friendships and maintaining all of those connections that you already have. Relationships are important for a fulfilling life. So stay connected. Another piece of COVID advice that doesn't work as a metaphor for life is wash your hands. Yes, it is exactly what everyone must do right now, Please, whatever you do, make sure you wash your hands always for the rest of your life. But when we say wash our hands of something, it means I wash my hands of this. I don't take any responsibility for this. And that isn't who an LDSS grad is. Taking responsibility for your life and choices, both good and bad, is actually rewarding. It's what makes your life your own. Finally, graduates, we can keep everything clean, even sterile during a pandemic, but life in general, it's messy. It doesn't always go as planned, and that's okay, because we don't all have the same plan in mind anyway. Plans are a way of feeling in control, and it makes sense that we want that right now. But developing flexibility when things don't go as expected, I have a feeling you're getting pretty good at that. Sometimes when things don't go as planned, it can be challenging, and sometimes life takes you in a wonderful direction that you couldn't have imagined for yourself. You can only plan what you can imagine. So, distancing, hand washing, sanitizing, all very important right now. But relationships, owning your life, rolling with the unexpected, these will be lessons you revisit and continue to learn for a lifetime. On behalf of the staff of LDSS, we wish you an amazing future and we congratulate you on your achievement. As we go through this year's graduates, you'll notice that some slides have a gold bar, while some will have a purple bar, and some will have both. The gold bar indicates a student that is an Ontario Scholar. An Ontario Scholar is a student who has demonstrated academic excellence. In order to be an Ontario Scholar, a student must have achieved an aggregate of 480 in 6th grade 12 subjects. 
LDSS is proud to have outstanding graduates who have achieved this honor. The purple bar indicates a student that has completed their high skills major designation in either business, health and wellness, construction, or manufacturing. The specialist high skills major program allows students to focus on a career path that matches their skills and interests while meeting the requirements of the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Now, let us move on to what we've all been waiting for, our graduates. Gregory Arnold is an LDSS graduate. Hilary Backert is an LDSS graduate. Lucas Baggio. Lucas has applied to join the Armed Forces. Lucas is honored with the Royal Canadian Legion Poppy Fund Major Andrew McKeever Branch 259 Award. This award is for a graduating student who has combined academic achievement with extracurricular involvement. Dharma Bajga is an LDSS graduate. Nicholas Barkley is an LDSS graduate. Dakota Barfoot. Dakota is currently driving forklift at Erie Meats. He is looking forward to going to Conestoga College in September 2021 for construction. Johnny Barch. Johnny is the recipient of the Case Marcrest Technical Education Award. This award is issued to a student who graduated through our case program at LDSS and demonstrated proficiency and skill in technical studies. Maria Barch. Maria is the recipient of the Case Cooperative Education Award. This award is issued to a student who graduated through our case program at LDSS and demonstrated the perseverance, critical thinking, communication, and curiosity needed for excellence in cooperative education. This year, the award was supported by Anna Mays. Dylan Bauer is an LDSS graduate. Austin Berenger is an LDSS graduate. Nathan Beefert is an LDSS graduate and is currently working. Dana Behrens. Dana has returned to LDSS for a fifth year with plans to apply to post-secondary education next year. Marissa Bender is an LDSS graduate. Marissa is taking online classes and working. Noah Ben. Noah is attending Fanshawe College in the Motive Power Technician Mechanics Program. Noah is presented with the Greg Fraser Memorial Award. This is awarded to a graduating student pursuing a college or university education in the technical or engineering field and who has exhibited good citizenship. Greg Fraser graduated from LDSS and studied diesel motor power at Franchelle College. Greg later operated the Listowel Truck Center for 25 years. Frank Bergen. Frank is the recipient of the Case Student Leadership Award. This award is issued to a student who graduated through our Case program at LDSS and demonstrated exceptional leadership and curricular and extracurricular activities. Liam Bessie. Liam is honored with the LDSS Excellence in Music Award. This award is for a graduating student who has made a positive contribution to the LDSS music program as determined by the music teacher. The student must be continuing in post-secondary education but does not have to be in a music program. Liam is also the worthy recipient of the Whiteman Family Bursary. This award is for an honor student who has demonstrated community involvement, volunteerism, and leadership, and who is enrolled in the field of IT, engineering, telecommunications, environmental, or related fields. Jordan Beyer. Jordan is an LDSS graduate and is returning to LDSS for a fifth year. Michael Boer is an LDSS graduate. Hannah Boerteen. Hannah is enrolled in the Dental Assisting Program at Fanshawe College. Nicholas Bonneville is an LDSS graduate. Zoe Boyd. Zoe is presented with the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce Co-op Award. This award is for a graduating student who has been an outstanding co-op student who is proceeding to post-secondary school. Zoe is also the worthy recipient of the John Monaghan Memorial Business Award. 
This award is for a student continuing their business studies at the college level. Emma Brock. Emma is attending Seneca College for the Veterinary Technician Program. C.J. Brooks. C.J. is currently enrolled at Trent University in the Medical Professional Stream with a major in Biology. C.J. is honored with the K. Tarbush Memorial Award. This award is for a graduating student who has made a positive contribution to the arts program at LDSS. The award is given in memory of Kay Tarbush, a former LDSS art teacher. CJ is also the worthy recipient of the LDSS Student Council Scholarship. This award is for a student who has extensive extracurricular involvement and who is proceeding to post-secondary studies. Austin Buchanan. Austin is an LDSS graduate and is returning to LDSS for a fifth year. Bo Buchanan is an LDSS graduate. Jane Buchanan. Jane is presented with the Jack Sharp Hall Award. This award is for proficiency in 4U English. Jane is also the worthy recipient of the Listable Technology Incorporated Award for Biology. This award is for a student with the highest proficiency in 4U Physics, Chemistry, and Biology. Tyler Buchanan is an LDSS graduate. David Buchert is an LDSS graduate. Margaretha Buchert is an LDSS graduate. Tina Buchert is an LDSS graduate. Claire Calder. Claire is attending Queen's University for their Engineering and Applied Sciences program. Hannah Cherian. Hannah is studying French at the University of Waterloo. Hannah is awarded the District 8 OSSTF Scholarship. This award is for students who display scholarship, leadership, and involvement in extracurricular activities. Autumn Clausig is an LDSS graduate and has returned for her fifth year. Kaylee Cook. Kaylee is applying for a plumbing apprenticeship at Harco Plumbing and Mechanical in Guelph. Braden Coombs is an LDSS graduate. Dylan Coombs is an LDSS graduate and is returning for a fifth year. Alyssa Danielli is an LDSS graduate. Desmond Darrow is an LDSS graduate and is currently working. Patrick Davio is an LDSS graduate. Kylie DeBoer. Kylie DeBoer is currently working and taking a few online courses at LDSS. Tyler DeCoste is an LDSS graduate. Jordan Dielstra is an LDSS graduate. Alexis DeLong is an LDSS graduate. Jesse DeWispeler is an LDSS graduate. Rebecca Dick. Rebecca is honored with the Dr. Wu and Dr. Park Dentistry Cooperative Education Award. This award is for a graduate who's continuing her education in the dental assistant, hygienist, or health field. Emma Douglas. Emma is currently attending King's at Western University for Childhood and Social Institutions with plans of becoming a teacher. Emma is awarded the Huron Perth Women's Institute Award. This commendation is for a student who is studying healthcare, childcare, food, or nutrition. Emma is also the worthy recipient of the Jean McEwen Memorial Scholarship. This award is for a worthy Huron County student who is proceeding to post-secondary studies. Madison Dow. Madison is taking a year to work, then hopefully going to post-secondary next year for the Personal Support Worker Program. John Dumering is an LDSS graduate. Emma Duncan is an LDSS graduate. Cole Dunn is an LDSS graduate. Joanna Dyke is an LDSS graduate. Joey Dick is an LDSS graduate. 
Malachi Dick is an LDSS graduate and is currently working. Cullen Elg. Cullen is honored with the TN Construction Skilled Trade Award. This award is for a student who has exhibited superior academic abilities and has participated in the OEAP program related to the construction industry and who is pursuing an apprenticeship or attending a post-secondary program in the construction industry. Kinsey Ellis. Kinsey is taking time off to work and then attending the Stratford Festival School of Hairstyling with hopes of opening her own salon in the future. Alex Erb is an LDSS graduate. Mercedes Fallhofer is an LDSS graduate. Haley Fisher. Haley is awarded the Brian Soupy Campbell Prize. This award is for a student who has shown leadership in team sports at LDSS. The commendation is given in memory of Brian Campbell, a former LDSS student. Kayla Fletcher. Kayla is studying to earn her honors specialization in psychology at Brescia College. Kayla is awarded the Listowel District Secondary School Centennial Award. This award is for an above average student who is proceeding to post-secondary education. Cole Forsyth. Cole is working at Newry Coach Lines and is working toward an auto apprenticeship. Brooklyn Gerber. Jonathan Giesbrecht. Ty Guile. Abigail Givens. Abigail is returning to LDSS for a fifth year. Danica Goodyear. Danica is taking pre-health sciences at Fanshawe College. Courtney Gowing. Robin Graber. Robin is attending Nipissing University for a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Robin was selected by her fellow students to be the valedictorian for the class of 2020. She is also the worthy recipient of the Listowel Memorial Hospital Foundation Scholarship. This commendation is for an all-round graduate who demonstrates leadership and is pursuing post-secondary education in the medical or health science field. Finally, Robin is also the recipient of the principal's plaque. This award is chosen by the principal and given to an all-around graduate who has attained a degree of academic excellence and also made an outstanding contribution to school life. Autumn Greer. Anna Griesbach. Kaidi Grimes. Kaidi is awarded the Student Services North Award. This award is for a graduate who has graduated through the LDSS North program and has shown perseverance through challenging times. Jake Gunther. Nicholas Hamilton. Reese Hamilton. Tyson Hamilton. Leanna Hammer. Sean Hartung. Travis Hayes. Chloe Hemingway. Chloe is currently working full-time at Ideal Supply and deferred her offer to attend Lakehead University for a Bachelor of Social Work for a year. Wyatt Hendrick. Wyatt is living in residence and taking a mix of online and in-person classes for outdoor recreation, parks, and tourism with a dual credit of natural science at Lakehead University's Thunder Bay campus. Wyatt is the recipient of the LDSS Student Athletic Award. This award is for a student who has made a valuable contribution to the athletic program at LDSS. Benjamin Hangeveld. Ben is attending Conestoga College for the Computer Programming and Analysis Program. Ben is the recipient of the Alan A. Simpson Award. This honor is for a student who shows enthusiasm and dedication to career objectives as chosen by a committee of the Simpson family. This award is in memory of Alan Simpson, a former LDSS student. Ben is also honored with the North Perth Chamber of Commerce Award. This award is for a graduate who has shown an outstanding ability in the business program and who is studying business at the post-secondary level. 
Ethan Hodges. Cameron Hoekstra. Jolene Horn. Jolene is awarded the Listowel District Secondary School Student Council Scholarship. This commendation is for a student who has extensive extracurricular involvement and is proceeding to post-secondary studies. Jolene is also the worthy recipient of the Royal Canadian Legion Poppy Fund Major Andrew McKeever Branch 259 Award. This award is for a graduating student who has combined academic achievement with extracurricular involvement. Finally, Jolene is also awarded the Tim McDonald Scholarship for Community Leadership. This award is for a graduating student who has demonstrated outstanding qualities of character and citizenship, including kindness, collaboration, thoughtfulness, and who has contributed to the vibrancy of LVSS. Cheyenne Horst. Cheyenne is awarded the Alan A. Simpson Award. This honor is for enthusiasm and dedication to career objectives as chosen by a committee of the Simpson family. This award is in memory of Alan Simpson, a former LDSS student. Jenna Horst. Jacob Horst. Sarah Horton. Sarah is returning to LDSS for a fifth year. William Hauser. Bill is currently apprenticing as an electrician and is presented the Ideal Supply Company Limited Award. This award is for a graduate who has chosen proficiency in the electricity class as chosen by the Tech Studies Department. Jacob Huber. Jacob is honored with the Corley Sorts for Sports Award. This award is for a student who has combined participation in the LDSS athletic program with community activities while maintaining academic success. Jacob is also the worthy recipient of the District 8 OSSTF Scholarship. This award is for students who display scholarship, leadership, and involvement in extracurricular activities. Justin Huber. Justin is at LDSS for a fifth year. Liam Huber. Liam is doing an apprenticeship for an electrician with Mike Pence Electrical. Liam is presented with the Dell Graham Technological Award. This award is for a student who is continuing his education in technology through an apprenticeship or further studies. Jenna Immink. Jenna is at Fanshawe College for Pre-Health. Zoe Irvine. Zoe has returned to LDSS for a fifth year. Olivia Jackson. Olivia is at the University of Guelph in the Applied Human Nutrition Program. Abigail Jamison. Abigail is attending Mohawk College for Advertising and Marketing Communications. Anna Japiasu. Anna returned to Brazil after graduating in Canada. Alexis Johnson. Lexi is at the University of Guelph participating in a Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. Lexi is honored with the John Nethercott Memorial Award. This award is for a graduate who's continuing their education in agricultural studies. This award is in memory of John Nethercott, a former LDSS student. Lexi is also the worthy recipient of the Libro Financial Award. This award is for youth who demonstrate outstanding commitment to their community while balancing academic success. Faith Caldez. Adam Caterberg. Adam is at Redeemer University in the Bachelor of Arts Kinesiology program. Lauren Kerr. Lauren is awarded the Community Living North Perth Award. This commendation is for a student who is continuing her education in the mental or physical health field. Landis King. Landis is attending Guelph University for Biochemistry. She is awarded the Listwell Clinic Medical Staff Scholarship. This award is for a graduate with an above average academic standing with the qualities of an all around student who is pursuing a career in the health studies field. Landis is also the worthy recipient of the Royal Canadian Legion Scholarship. Howick Branch Award. Kylie Kipfer.
Kylie is currently enrolled in pre-health at Fanshawe College. Almeida Kraba. Almeida is taking a fifth year at LDSS. Nicholas Kramer. Jaden Kipfer. Jordan Kipfer. Jordan is doing an electrical apprenticeship. Ashley Kunst. Ashley is studying life sciences gateway at McMaster University. Ashley is honored with the BTE Top Graduate Award. This is presented to the graduate with the highest average in our school. Ashley is also the worthy recipient of the Governor General Award. This is awarded to the graduate who has achieved the highest average upon graduation from a secondary school. Ashley is also the recipient of the Knights of Columbus Award. This commendation is for a graduating student who attains the best overall average in 4U mathematics. Finally, Ashley is awarded the Listwell Technology Inc. Award for Physics. This is for a student with the highest proficiency in 4U physics, chemistry, and biology. Kira Cooper. Winnie Lee. Winnie is awarded the David D. Hay Scholarship. This commendation is for the graduate with the highest academic standing who is entering an engineering or technology program. This award is presented through the generosity of Spinrite Incorporated. Charmaine Lichty. Keegan Long. Keegan is attending York University studying humanities and majoring in theater. Keegan is honored with the Atwood Lions Derek Nind Community Service Award. This award is for an Elm Award student entering a trade or apprenticeship program and who also has extensive community service. Keegan is also the worthy recipient of the Huron Perth Real Estate Award. This award is for a student who has shown proficiency in grade 12 Canadian and world studies. Maria Lucas. Maria is studying political science at the University of Ottawa. Jenna McLeod. Jenna is attending the University of Western Ontario studying media, information, and technoculture. I will be reading the M to Z uh, graduate list. We'll start with Gabrielle Maine. Deanna Mann. Deanna has returned to LDSS for a fifth year. After high school, she plans on going to Fanshawe for the Personal Support Worker Program. Deanna is awarded the Connect Community Leadership Award. This commendation is for a student who has demonstrated community service and volunteer work. Desiree Markle. Faith Markle. Dustin Martin. Dustin is the worthy recipient of the Case Athletic Award. This award is issued to a student who graduated through our Case program at LDSS and has demonstrated leadership, good sportsmanship, and skill development in athletic activities. Jackson Martin. Nicole Martin. Shay Martin is relaxing and enjoying life. Braden May. Matthew McCobe. Matthew is currently in his fifth year at LDSS, hoping to be off to university next September. Rachel McDonald. Rachel is attending McMaster University studying social psychology. Rachel is honored with the Huron Perth County Crime Stoppers Award. This award is for a graduate who has demonstrated leadership and good moral character and who is studying law enforcement or a related area. Connor McGrath. Gavin McMahon.
Cassidy McRae. Cassidy is awarded the Doris Armitage Memorial Scholarship. This commendation is for excellence in grade 12 French studies. Julian Myring. Ivy Metzger. Rachel Mills. Rachel is currently taking a fifth year and hopes to attend the University of Guelph next September for psychology. Two thousand eighteen striker Wilbur Morales. Abby Morell. Abby is at LDSS for a fifth year. She is also working at Diana Suites as well as the Listowel School's Dance of Dance as a student teacher. In September 2021. Abby hopes to attend university for concurrent education. Noah Morton Sidorak. Noah is at the University of Waterloo in the Honors Arts, Political Science, and Legal Studies program. William Naylor. Brianna Nickel. Brody Nicholas. Cole Nichols. Emma O'Grady. Emma is awarded the Huron Perth Junior Farmers Award. This commendation is for a student entering the agriculture field through work, apprenticeship, college, or university. Emma is also the worthy recipient of the Taylor Long Memorial Award. This award is given to the, in memory of Taylor Long, a young woman who passed away while she was a student at LDSS. This award is given to a student who exemplifies similar qualities to Taylor. They will have demonstrated kindness, a love of animals, and an aptitude with children. The award recipient is also a student who is continuing their education in the veterinary or veterinary technician field. McLean Orr has returned to LDSS for a fifth year while working part-time at LTI. James Patterson. James is currently working two part-time jobs, considering opportunities within the trades, while also keeping options open as he applied to the Powerline Technician Program at Conestoga College. Katie Payne. Katie has returned to LDSS for a fifth year. Dallas Penner. Renee Portina. Blake Porter. Emma Raynard. Emma is presented the L Rotary Club of Listable Arts Award. This award is for a strong student who is continuing in an arts-related program. Seth Reading. Seth is currently apprenticing with Advanced Electric in Clifford to be an electrician. Katja Recksteiner. Samira Recksteiner. Sonia Recksteiner. Brett Reeser. Devin Reist. Devin is the worthy recipient of the Case Dedicated Student Award. This award is issued to a student who graduated through our Case program at LDSS and who has demonstrated perseverance, responsibility, and an excellent work ethic in their academic studies. Ethan Riddell. Ethan is attending Conestoga College for mechanical engineering. Carter Rudolphs. Heather Riley. Joseph Rudolph. Brianna Slosher. Brianna is attending Conestoga College for pre-health sciences pathway to advanced diplomas and degrees. Brianna is awarded the Dr. Patrick Rossi Prize. 
This award is for a student studying science at a post-secondary institution in the health field. Keila Shantz. Keila is awarded the Alan A. Simpson Award. This award is for enthusiasm and dedication to career objectives, as chosen by a committee of the Simpson family. This accolade is in memory of Alan Simpson, a former LDSS student. Keela is also the worthy recipient of the Atwood Firefighter Association Scholarship in memory of Ken Ray. This award is for a graduating student entering firefighting, paramedic, or police foundations program programs. This award is given in memory of Ken Ray, a member of the Atwood Fire Department who tragically lost his life at a fire on March 17, 2011. In addition, Keela is also honored with the Catholic Women's League St. Joseph's Parish Award. This award is for a student who has achieved the highest proficiency in six grade 12 subjects at the college level. Finally, Keela is also the worthy recipient of the McDonald's ADCT Science Award. This prize is for a graduate who obtains the highest mark in 4C science who is continuing at the college or university level. This scholarship is made possible through the generosity of a dream come true, McDonald's restaurant, Listowel. Cameron Sharpen. Cameron is honored with the Listowel Banner Scholarship. This award is for a graduate who shows proficiency in business studies. Cameron is also the worthy recipient of the Listowel Vision Care Award. This accolade is for a student or is for a graduate who is continuing education in business. It is in honor of the late Dr. Betty Fretz, owner and operator of Dr. Betty Fretz and Associates and longtime supporter of this award. Jesse Shepard. Emily Skinner. Emily is enrolled at Laurier University. She is taking a Bachelor of Political Science and a Bachelor of Law. Tanner Smith. Mason Snell. Mason is attending the University of Waterloo in the Aviation Management Program. Mason is awarded the John Monahan Memorial Business Award, University Stream. This commendation is for a student continuing business studies at the university level. Mason is also the worthy recipient of the Listowel Fl Flying Club Aviation Award. This prize is for a graduate who is proceeding to post-secondary education in an aviation-related program. Ricky Song. Kristen Steckley. Andrew Stewart. Devin Stryker. Devin is likely enjoying life on the farm. Christian Subject. Kaya Taylor. Kaya Taylor is attending the University of Windsor in the Combined Honors Program with a focus in English literature, creative writing, and music. Kaya is awarded the Alan A. Simpson Award. This honor is for a student who, know, who shows enthusiasm and dedication to their career objectives, as chosen by a committee of the Simpson family. This commendation is in memory of Alan Simpson, a former LDSS student. Kaya is also the worthy recipient of the Bernard Lodge Masonic Fellowship Scholarship. This prize is for a student who shows care and compassion toward others and who exemplifies the true meaning of fellowship. In addition, the Conway Furniture Music Award has been awarded to Kaya. This honor is for a student who has made a significant contribution to the LDSS music program. Kaya won the 2019 Joyce Pratt Writers Award. This prize is for the graduate who has completed a superior piece of original creative writing to the committee judged by LDSS educators. Finally, Kaya is also the recipient of the Nelson and Hannah Vernon slash Jean Murray Oak Award Memorial Award. This award is for excellent in English, combined with good character and leadership qualities. Congratulations, Kaya. Caitlin Trenpass. Caitlin is studying to be a veterinarian assistant 
at Georgian College. Jack Terpstra. Katrina Terpstra. Rihanna Terrio. Rihanna is attending George Brown College for American Sign Language and Deaf Studies. Rihanna is, is designated the Larry Bannerman Foundation Award. This commendation is for a graduate who has overcome obstacles in the pursuit of his or her studies. Rihanna is also the worthy recipient of the Principal's Medal. This award is awarded annually to a graduate who, despite some obstacles, has demonstrated leadership and academic success. In addition, Rihanna is also the recipient of the Royal Canadian Legion Bursary. This honor is for a graduating student who is continuing in post-secondary school. Anna Thiessen. Sheldon Thompson. Tylor Thompson Tidor. Samuel Town. Sam is attending York University in Tatham Residence, taking disaster and emergency ma management. Sam is awarded the Royal LePage Don Hamilton Real Estate Award. This accolade is for a student who has high, who has a high average and is proceeding to a post-secondary program in agriculture and environmental science. Calvin Van Donkersgood. Alicia Van Veen. Alicia is working at the nursing slash retirement home in Brussels. She is also attending Fleming College for the FSW Food Service Worker Program. Alicia is honored with the John Monahan Memorial Workplace Award. This award is for a student working in a business related field. Kelly Vandenbrack. Kelly is attending Fanshawe College for General Business Co-op. Kelly is awarded the James Royal Love of Business. This award is for a graduate who has shown enthusiasm and love for the study of business. This award is in memory of James Royal, a former LDSS business teacher and department head. Nicholas Rubik. Matthew Vesnaver. Matthew is attending McMaster University for Engineering. He is awarded the Brian Prescott Memorial Award. This award is for involvement in the arts and engineering. This award was made possible by the Prescott family in memory of Brian Prescott. Matthew is also the worthy recipient of the Lieutenant Governor Award, which is awarded to a graduate for exemplary contribution to volunteer activities. Matthew has 440 community service hours logged. Finally, Matthew is also honored with the Whiteman Family Bursary. This award is for an honor student who has demonstrated community involvement, volunteerism, and leadership who is enrolled in the field of IT, engineering, telecommunications, environmental, or a related field. Abe Wall. Abe is the worthy recipient of the Case Character Award. This award is issued to a student who is great who graduated through our case program at LDSS and has modeled the key character attributes of fairness, honesty, empathy, integrity, optimism, and compassion. Christina Wall. Christina is the recipient of the Case Academic Achievement Award. This award is issued to a student who graduated through our case program at LDSS and demonstrated excellent academic performance. Rebecca Wall, Trevor Walters, Ryan Wheel, Annika Weber, Cameron Weber. Cameron is working at Boss Tech Mechanical in Listowel for the year. He will be going to University of Waterloo for civil engineering in the fall of 2021. Cameron is honored with the Derek Weaver Memorial Award. This award is for a student who is continuing in post-secondary education and has made a positive contribution to extracurricular activities. 
Bryn Weiser. Carson Wick. Carson is studying business at Western University. Carson is honored with the James Hutton Entrepreneurial Leadership Award, Hutton Forest Products. This award is for a student who has demonstrated outstanding academic achievement as well as extracurricular involvement related to business studies. Carson is also the worthy recipient of the LDSS Student Council Scholarship Award. This award is for a student who has extensive extracurricular involvement and who is proceeding to post-secondary studies. Mary Weed. Mackenzie Wilkin. Mackenzie is taking a fifth year at LDSS. Brianna Williams. Gregory Williams. Kendra Wilson. Kendra is attending Conestoga College in the Personal Support Worker Program. Willie Welk. Daniel Wood. Jocelyn Woolham. Jocelyn is studying medical office practices at Conestoga College. Jocelyn is awarded the Royal Canadian Legion Poppy Fund Major Andrew McKeever Branch 259 Award. This award is for a graduating student who has combined academic achievement with extracurricular involvement. Tyler Ewell. Tyler is currently working full-time at Listowel Technologies while doing a pre-apprenticeship program through Conestoga College for manufacturing and welding. Eva Zacharias. Eva is the worthy recipient of the Dedicated Student Award. This award is issued to a student who graduated through our case program at LDSS and who has demonstrated perseverance, responsibility, and an excellent work ethic in their academic studies. The following awards have been awarded to the fifth year students. Cody Bray is awarded to the Stratford Builders Association Award. This honor is for a student who has exhibited superior abilities and may have participated in the OYAP program related to the construction industry. Travis Bannerman is awarded the PBJ Cleaning Depot Award. This commendation is for a student who has been involved in school sports and who will be studying business, commercial, or an entrepreneurial field. Natasha Bowles is awarded the BTE Assembly Award. This honor is for a student who is continuing in a computer studies program. Natasha is also the worthy, worthy recipient of the Larry Bannerman Foundation Award. This award is for a graduate who has overcome obstacles in the pursuit of his or her studies. Leroy Dew is awarded the Royal Canadian Legion Bursary. This award is, is to, for a student who is continuing in post-secondary school. Caden Reyes is awarded the LDSS Social Sciences Award. This award is for a student who has shown excellence in grade 12 social sciences and humanities and who is proceeding to post-secondary studies. Colleen Shepard is honored with the Doug Calhoun Memorial Award. This commendation is for a student who plans to study physical education, recreation, or health sciences, and who has made a valuable contribution to the athletic program at LDSS. This award is made possible through the generous contribution of Mr. Donald Calhoun in, his me in memory of his son, Doug. Julia King is awarded the G. Scott Mitchell CWS Award. This award is for a strong history student who demonstrates a genuine, lo genuine love of the subject in the true Cotonan Menorah style. Julia is also the worthy recipient of the Listable Technology Incorporated Award for Chemistry. This award is for a student with the highest proficiency in 4U physics, chemistry, and biology. Matthew Hengeveld is awarded the McDonald's ADCT Kindness Award. This commendation is for a graduating student who has shown good character and kindness. And finally, Cameron Tolinar is awarded the Alan A. Simpson Award for Enthusiasm and Dedication to Career Objectives, as chosen by a committee of the Simpson family. 
This award is in memory of Alan Simpson, a former LDSS student. What an honor to be able to introduce our 2020 class valedictorian. Robin Graber is such a delightful young lady, gentle and tender-hearted, but also resilient, determined, and strong. She shows perseverance in her work and kindness in her relationships. Robin has a younger and an older sister and lives in Listowel with her family. She has been active at Trinity United Church in Camp Kintail and worked a lot at Shoppers Drug Mart. While attending LDSS, Robin also played soccer, including emergency goaltending, apparently. After she completed the leaders in training at Camp Kintail, her dynamic leadership went up to a whole new level. Robin has taken science and nursing at Nipissing University. She will be such a great addition to that department. I first met Robin when she was transferred into my 3U math class well into the start of the semester. You know, the most dreaded of all courses. It was tough, busy, split, flipped, collaborative, fast, and overwhelming. But she jumped in with determination and grace, sometimes frustration, always asked, always tried, and was always so pleasant to peers and staff alike. When I asked other colleagues about teaching Robin, she was described as mature beyond her years since grade nine kind, dedicated, team player, inclusive, and welcoming to everyone, hardworking, sharp, and was always positive and happy to explain concepts and help those around her, a teacher's joy. I so enjoyed learning with her and was delighted a year later to have Robin in another course. Again, the same characteristics Sean. In academic and personal challenges, Robin faced every obstacle or hardship with tenacity and grace. I am very proud of her. Congratulations, Robin. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for that wonderful intro. Even though I haven't gotten to hear it yet, I'm sure it was lovely. First off, I'd like to thank my older sister, Jordan, for writing the entirety of this speech. Trust me when I say she means every single word of it. No, I'm just kidding. She only wrote half, so it's okay. Friends, family, LDSS staff, the random individual who has managed to hack our link, but most importantly, the class of 2020. Welcome. Before I go any further, I know that I haven't seen many of you since the school shut down in March, and it's likely that many of those watching haven't had the unique privilege of meeting me yet. So I'd like to take a moment to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Robin, or as Shimata likes to call me, barely passing chemistry. Although I don't get to see all of your lovely faces or hear all of the laughter that joke definitely would have gotten in, in person, I don't want you to worry because my roommates here in North Bay have heard it about a thousand times, so at least a few people have gotten to hear it, experience it in person. We entered the year scrolling through TikToks and memes about being drafted for World War III, thinking that was going to be the low point of our year. The events that unfolded in the months to follow were anything but expected. Over the last four years, I think we were all guilty of counting down the days until graduation, until prom, and until the next chapter of our lives. I know I certainly was. But I don't think any of us could have predicted that our la for our last day to come so soon, let alone as the result of a global pandemic. It would be naive for me to sit here and tell you that things have been easy or that we had the typical grade 12 experience. They haven't and we certainly did not. The past seven months have certainly been trying. They've shown us a new way of living, forced us down different paths than we intended, and changed the way we see the world. While they've been difficult, these moments have shown us how to adapt, find patience, become more aware of those around us. But most importantly, I realize how truly disgusting it is to touch my face in public. Big no-no. <laughs> I can honestly say this is not the graduation that I had in mind for us. Yet we still made it. You made it. And I cannot emphasize this enough, how, how proud and how truly happy I am that each and every one of you pushed through the many obstacles we faced to be here today, especially through those particularly excruciating advanced function classes. Good work. <laughs> 
We may not be able to see each other right now or take pictures in our caps and our gowns. And we may not be watching Carson receive yet another award on stage for the umpteenth time, but this is still our time. It's our time to celebrate the people that we are becoming, as well as the people who have been next to us along the way. It's our time to make choices, to make mistakes, to meet new people, and to find our own new adventures. Most importantly, it's our time to remember LDSS and all of the experiences that led us to where we are now. I hope you look back and remember the annual SAA tournaments the awesome trips with the soccer, volleyball, and basketball teams, and the bus rides with Brian. The memories you made on the grade 10 Ottawa trip, or touring Italy, Switzerland, or Britain, or Great Britain for all of you international travelers out there. I hope you think about the moments spent rehearsing lines in Black Door, or performing your heart out for all of your peers. The chaotic lunches in the cafeteria, the parking lot hangouts, and the racing back from McDonald's so Sterling doesn't lock you out of class, as well as the much needed naps in Walker's grade 11 bio class. Okay, maybe that last one was just me, but I'm hoping you're looking back on the rest. Most importantly, I hope you recall all of the relationships that you've made all along the way, as well as the friendships. If these last few years have taught me anything, it's that very little in this life is going to go as planned. Tests are failed, bangs don't quite look as good as you expect, and global pandemics happen. So cherish these moments, these relationships, and celebrate everything that you have accomplished so far. Things aren't going to get easier, but we are getting stronger. We have proven that we can work harder, make the best of every obstacle, and create a future that we can all be proud of. Class of 2020, I thank you for giving me this opportunity to say my final thank yous and goodbyes to you all. I am truly blessed. Thank you to my peers for the four years of friendships, cram study sessions, and late nights I definitely remember. <laughs> thank you to the LDS staff for supporting me and pushing me to be the best version of myself. And a final thank you to my mom and my dad for raising this kick-ass valedictorian you see in front of you. I know each and every one of you will accomplish great things in this life. Now give yourselves a pat in the back, you bunch of high school graduates. Congrats, class of 2020. We made it. Good evening. My name is Mrs. Ignore. We have come to the time in our program where we like to stop and thank the numerous people who made tonight possible and introduce our graduating class. Graduates, please take some time to thank the adults in your life who helped make this day possible. Parents and guardians, we thank you for being an out of school support system for our students, especially this past year when you were called on to partner in your child's education more than ever before. Thank you to our teacher presenters, to Ms. Goggin and the Student Services Department for the hours of work putting this virtual commencement together. And thank you to our community donors for the generous awards. Our students are very lucky to have such a supportive community. Graduates, in a moment, I'm gonna introduce you as the graduating class of 2020. When I do this, you're supposed to throw your graduation cap in the air. This year, we would love it if you could record yourself throwing your hat and send that recording to Ms. Goggin. So you may wanna hit pause for a moment while you get ready. Your grad cap is in your graduation bag. And if you're away from home and didn't get your bag yet, go grab any hat. This is an important moment in your life. Set it up, get someone to record you. I'll wait. Everybody ready? It is my honor on behalf of the staff of LDSS, I present to you our class of 2020. Thank you for joining us. We wish you all the best in your future.